Hey, fourth graders, it's Mrs. Seals back for our next science lab and our first science lab of 2021. I hope everybody had a great break. Um, today, we are going to be talking about some words that um, may be new to you. Some of them should sound familiar, um, but these words are weathering, erosion, and deposition. And these are um, changes that happen to the earth. You did learn about weathering in third grade, um, but erosion and deposition may be new to you. So we're gonna quickly go over what these things mean and how they can change our earth. And I'm even going to give you a little saying to help you remember these, the difference between these three words. So your target says, I can observe and identify slow changes to earth's surface caused by weathering, erosion, and deposition from water, wind, and ice. So let's start out with this saying, and I'm even going to give you some hand motions to remember it. So weathering breaks it, erosion takes it, deposition makes it. So let's say that with me and, and use your hand motions to help you remember. Weathering breaks it, erosion takes it, deposition makes it. So it would be talking about rocks and the land. Weathering is when rocks or land are broken up into smaller pieces. Erosion is when those smaller pieces that we call sediment are carried away somewhere else. And deposition is when those pieces are dropped off and they build up. And the reason we say it makes it is because that what that is um, what can create new landforms and features on the earth. So one more time, weathering breaks it, erosion takes it, deposition makes it. If you can help, if you can um, remember that saying, it's going to help you remember the difference between those three words that a lot of people get mixed up. All right, so let's talk about weathering. Weathering is the breaking down and wearing away of rock. If you were here last year in third grade, you may remember we did an experiment with weathering um, using ramen noodles to show different ways rocks can be broken apart. So weathering can happen from four different agents. It can happen from water, wind, ice, or it can happen mechanically. So weathering from water happens when streams or rivers flowing over rocks over many, many years causes them to change size and shape. These rocks tend to be smoother. So have you ever, whoops, there's more. Waves crashing into rocks over many, many years can wear it away over long periods of time. So if you've ever been to like a river or a stream or a place where the water is moving and flowing, Hopefully you notice that the rocks that are there at the bottom are much smoother than normal. That's, be, that's an example of weathering. Over many years, the water flowing over these rocks has worn them down and made them smoother. Weathering can also happen from wind um, by blowing bits of material against cliffs and large rocks. It wears and breaks the rock down into sand and dust. So it almost acts like um, sandpaper rubbing up against the rock and it can change the shape. And this can create a um, landform called a rock arch. And these are some examples of rock arches. A lot of people think that rock arches are um, man-made, you know, an artist goes out there and carves it, but these are actually made naturally. So before I continue, I want to back up and make sure you understand that these changes that we're talking about, weathering, erosion, deposition, these are not changes that happen overnight. These are changes that take many, many, many years of the water flowing or the winds blowing to cause these changes. Um, ice can cause weathering. This is called ice wedging. When water sinks into cracks in a rock and the temperature drops low enough, the water freezes into ice. And when water freezes, it expands. So this can form a wedge in the rock that can split the rock open into smaller fragments after this happens over and over again. So here's a little diagram to show you. Water can collect in the rock crack. The water freezes and expands. It thaws. And then when it happens over and over again, eventually it causes that rock to crack open. <clears throat> again, not an overnight change. 
Mechanical weathering is called root wedging. Same thing like this one was called ice wedging. Root wedging is when the roots of plants work their way into rock crevices. And as they grow, the roots create pressure on the sides of the crack, enlarging it until the rock breaks apart. So if you've ever seen a sidewalk like this, um, that is an example of root wedging where the, the roots of the tree have literally grown through the rock and started to break it apart. Okay, so those are all some different ways that rocks can be broken. And the next one we're going to talk about is erosion. So we said weathering breaks it, erosion takes it. So erosion is when these pieces are um, literally carried away and moved somewhere else. And again, this can happen from wind, water, or ice, and this can lead to new landforms. So erosion caused by wind can cause a landform called a sand dune. If you've ever been to the beach or the desert or a place where there's a lot of sand, you see these big hills or mounds of sand. Those are created by wind picking up the sand and carrying it and dropping it off in one location over and over and over again. Erosion caused by water. Um, this would be like rainfall. A lot of times when it rains really, really hard for a short period of time, we can have flooding, which can cause to soil, can lead to soil erosion or soil gets picked up and carried and moved. And erosion, um, water erosion can also cause this land formation, which is called a canyon. Um, the Grand Canyon was literally created from the Colorado River flowing through there over millions and millions of years because as the water moves and flows, it's picking up pieces of rock and carrying it with it. So it makes the canyon deeper and wider. Again, not something that's going to happen overnight. It's going to take many, many millions of years. And then ice, um, water erosion caused by ice, um, these are glaciers. So a glacier is a really, really large, slow moving piece of ice. And glaciers can cause erosion when sediment is picked up and they freeze or stick to the bottom of the glacier and get carried away. And we're gonna talk more about this specifically next week. We're gonna do a, a lab just about glaciers. All right, so weathering breaks it, erosion takes it, deposition makes it. So deposition is when um, the, the, these pieces of sediment that have been broken off and carried away from weathering and erosion are now dropped off or deposited in a new location. And this creates new landforms, again, from wind, water, or ice. So the kids that are in class are going to be doing an experiment um, to show weathering erosion and deposition and the different ways it can happen um, by using a piece of chalk to represent a rock. We're going to be doing four things, or sorry, five things to the chalk. One is putting it in a jar and shaking it up, talking about the changes that happen to the chalk, thinking about what that represents. Chalk drop, where we're going to be excuse me, dropping the chalk <clears throat> from up high and noticing what happens. Nail the chalk where we're going to take a nail and actually poke it through the chalk. Chalk and sandpaper where we're gonna rub the chalk on the sandpaper and chalk and vinegar where we will put the chalk in a jar with some vinegar and shake it up and see what happens. So all of these um, little investigations represent different ways that rocks can be weathered or eroded or deposited. Um, these all show different ways that rocks can be broken or moved or dropped off in a new place. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that experiment for you right now because the science lab is all packed up. Um, I'm recording this video the week before Christmas break. And you can see everything, look at that giant pile of trash. Everything is gone. All the cabinets are empty. Everything's gone out of the science lab. So, um, and it's moved to the new school. So I'm not gonna be able to, to do that experiment for, for you today. Um, 
but there is a short quiz on Schoology for you to take to show me what you know about weathering, erosion, and deposition. I hope that you had fun, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.